Okay, what started out to be a you know a good side by side or a a b comparison between the a h four and the a h seven thirty is not going to happen because I have no way of switching between the two using the same radio to get a fair comparison because every time you switch it, of course it one or the other dumps the tune as soon as you cycle the power so I've got a way around that that'll have to be part two, so we'll just have a a quick autopsy look at both of them, and you can see. Obviously, the one on the right, the 730, is a lot larger. And the biggest difference is going to be these coils up here at the top, those three at the very top right here, that just don't exist on the AH-4. So I guess that maybe gives it a little bit more range. But, uh, you know, it's, it's a more robust tuner. The plastic's thicker. Um, they both output in the same porcelain style output. Of course the ground on the bottom is the same. I've modified this one slightly. Usually the wire comes down here and exits, but I've went ahead and added three uh, uh, ferret cores up here. Cut down on some of the on some of the interference to get down the tuner cable. But uh, yeah, I went ahead and pigtailed this one. That's really it guys. I don't have much else to show. I was really wanting to do, like, like I said, an AB, but I can't. Not right now. But what I will do, and I know a lot of people have asked this, the factory cable, tuner cable that comes with it is usually around 30 feet. But last night I went ahead and made a 100 foot cable. And I also made this piece to join this one and this one together to make a total of 130 feet. So let's see if we can uh, get these tuners to tune with a 130 foot of tuner cable. Okay, first up is going to be the AH4 hooked up to the 7200 via 30 feet of tuner cable. The output of the tuner is just going to a link the wire hanging off the balcony. It's definitely not going to be a strong performer whatsoever. No counterpoise, no nothing. Just want to see if it'll tune. That's the main thing. Okay, here's 80. Fine. 20 is fine. I'm sorry, 40, and that's 20. 17, 15, 12, and 10. All fine. So let's hook up 100 feet and see where that will we get off of that. Okay, same scenario, except this time we've got the AH4 connected with a 100 foot of cable. Let's see what that yields us. Just like the 30 footer. Tuned a little longer on that one. But it still works. So. Twelve and ten. Hundred foot of cable, no problem. Let's add another thirty feet. Okay, now we got a hundred and a little over hundred and thirty feet hooked up through this adapter. So we're going from this one into the the cable that came with the tuner. So it's hundred and thirty something feet. Let's see if this works. Came on. Fine. That's a lot of cable. A lot of cable. Yep. No problems. Okay, so the AH4 has no problem supporting 100 and I think it's like 132 feet of cable. So you can mount your AH4 130 feet away from your radio, no problem. So let's move on to the 730 and see if she likes it or not. Okay, now the 740s, or sorry, the 730s hooked up. Same scenario, same piece of wire as the only output. And this is 30 foot of cable. 
you can hear it. That sucker has got some authority to it. Let's start with 80. No problem. No problem. This is a much better tuner. Okay, 30 foot, obviously, no problems at all, as would be expected. So let's go ahead and go all the way to 130 feet. Okay, AH730 with a 130 foot of tuner cable. That is a massive, massive pile of wires there. Let's see what happens here. Definitely came on, started 80. Okay, at least 83 can. 130 feet of cable will work fine on either tuner, the AH4 or the AH730.